Daredevil is a Netflix series based on the Marvel comic book that follows a journey of Matt Murdock, attorney by day, costumed vigilante by night. As a boy, Murdock was blinded in an accident with radioactive material that at the same time heightened his other senses. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been too long since my last confession. The critically acclaimed series has particularly caught the attention of Catholic reviewers. Brad Miner, former literary editor of National Review, told me he and his wife binged watched the series last season. The simple fact is that Daredevil, Matt Murdock, is inconceivable as a character without the priest. Um, he, he fairly defines who this young man is, how he approaches his life. Without the priest, you have a sense that Murdock would spin out of control. He comes back to Father Lantham frequently to be grounded. I think it's not clear in, in the series whether Father Lantham actually knows who um, Matt Murdock is. I'm not seeking forgiveness for what I've done, Father. I'm asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. I think it's good for the church that, that this series exists, that this character exists because it does show that you, you have to go to a particular place to get a particular kind of advice, to unburden yourself, but also to be challenged. Because Father Lantham understands that it's not enough to give him shibboleths. It's not enough just to give him a particular kind of penance to work out. He needs to help this young man think through the conflicts that he feels, why it is he's compelled to do what he feels he has to do, and he very much believes he has to do it. I'm just trying to make my city a better place. While the Avengers are out to save the world, Daredevil fights to save his neighborhood. Oh yeah, he does. Hell's Kitchen needs to die before it can be reborn. Vincent D'Onofrio plays uh, the Kingpin character marvelously. Uh, Kingpin's name is Wilson Fisk. And Fisk is a kind of um, urban developer on steroids. And, and so I think one of the insights about evil is the way it, uh, it, it seeks to camouflage itself, but also perhaps more than that, justify itself. Father, why do I still feel guilty? The best priests bring you to the reality of sin and to the reality of forgiveness. And it's hard for Matt Murdock because the evil doesn't stop. Why do I still feel guilty? Well, because you still gotta fight, my friend. Because the battle that you're fighting, the way you're fighting it just doesn't end. Daredevil's second season is set to hit Netflix in 2016, though an official premiere date has yet to be announced. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.